And thanks for joining us for this special NFL draft edition of What's Next. We're going to hear from the voice of the Browns, Jim Donovan, shortly about the Browns first round pick. But we begin our team coverage with Marissa Sines, who has been downtown all day braving this weather. Marissa, good evening to you. Hey guys, good evening to you. And I'll tell you if there's one update I am happy to give. It is about the weather. It's actually turned out to be a really nice night. The rain has stopped. We're not wet anymore, and it's not unbearably cold out here. But unfortunately, that was not the case as the evening first kicked off. When we first got here mid-afternoon, everyone had a poncho or an umbrella, and really, we were all soaked and cold. But in true football spirit, fans were embracing all of the experience. I spoke with fans from all over the country and many families who were living their sports dreams here today. Now that the picks are finally being announced, fans are keeping up with the pace. I love it. It's the guy I wanted. Uh, they need line help, but there's plenty of interior line help tomorrow. They have tackles lined up. Uh, Burrow and Chase reunited. I couldn't be happier. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, everything we've gone through, we can be back out in the public and having fun again and hanging out with friends yeah. from another uh, state. Yeah. It's incredible. I'll tell you, that little boy would be first round draft pick for cutest Browns fans and even possibly the number one Browns fans that was here today. But you know, I'll tell you, he was just one of the thousands of fans that were roaming around here today. And my colleague, Will, who I've seen running around here today is actually inside of First Energy Stadium. He's got more on what fans got to look forward to. Will, how you feeling? Yeah, Marissa, feeling good tonight. As you mentioned, the rain finally subsided and all the fans that are dealing with wet socks and damp clothes they're feeling pretty good as they're watching their teams make their picks. Behind me is where they had the field goal, they had the throwing, the Hail Mary pass. That's all subsided as well as the rain, but fans are still sitting in the stands on wet bleachers watching the rest of this. But earlier, it was a different scene. They were packed in here kicking the field goals, throwing Hail Marys. They had a kids section where they were learning some drills and skills. Outside the stadium, the 40-yard dash as well as the vertical leap with the mock locker room people going in and checking out a mock locker for all 32 teams the pro football hall of fame had an exhibit inside as well and then out in front of the science center it was a taste of cleveland with a little mix of about a dozen different restaurants local restaurants serving the fares to the people that we talked to all the way from seattle over to california and down to virginia but i'll tell you i did meet one person today he was a local kid ben Yanin frisky and he really summed up the day better than I ever could. It's very nice. There's some throwing and kicking activities over there. Right over there is a field goal challenge. I'm not sure how that works. I've seen Dolphins fans, Steelers fans, it's fans from all over the country are coming to this area to see the NFL draft in Cleveland at the Brown Stadium. I got to tell you, Sarah, he was a basically a talking soundbite machine. Everything that he said, he was talking about how wet it was as everyone's dealing with this rain. And I said, how was the rain today, Ben Yannin? And he said, you know, my feet are wet, but I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> ben Yannin, you're hired. I like it. Will you yeah. and Marissa signs for us downtown tonight. Thanks to you both. Well, our dream sports team has been watching the picks come in along with all of you at home, and they're going to do it again tomorrow night. Watch night two of the Ultimate Draft headquarters as rounds two and three are picked with Jay Crawford, Dave DiNatale, Ben Axelrod, Nick Camino, and Jimmy, of course. You can find it all on WKYC.com, our Facebook and YouTube pages, and our apps.